behind the wheel of the Triumph Herald yourself. It's a new experience in motoring. See the new Heralds at our showrooms now. This film brings to you for the first time the new series of Triumph Heralds with the bigger, more powerful and extra robust engine and featuring quality plus. The Triumph Herald 1200 series has been subjected to tests more punishing than any ever devised to exaggerate faults and cure them completely. During the development period, not a day has passed on the Myra Proving Grounds at Lindley without the sight of Herald 1200 prototypes being driven flat out through every test which ingenuity can devise. Hours on the pitching track, the pave, and the cross-country route have been followed by yet more hours of high-speed drives through the dust tunnel to search out the most minute faults in sealing. These months of planned torture will bring to you a product which you can sell with confidence. Confidence bred of the knowledge that no other family car has been built to such exactingly high standards. Distinctive is the word for it, in all its variations. The coupe, the most graceful on the road, with luxury to match and twin carb engine possessed. And the convertible, open tourer or snug conversion to saloon comfort. 30 seconds and two clips only for lowering that sturdy hood. Or estate car, solving so many needs with refinement. Vision, truly panoramic. Potentialities, tremendous. And it's built on a chassis for safety and strength. The bumpers really mean something in function and looks. Solid white rubber with heavy chrome overriders. They wrap well round at front and rear to put an end to all parking worries. Never has an engine been so easy to get at. You can top up the battery and the oil, adjust the timing, keep an eye on things without even breathing hard. And this is the Herald's new powerful engine. 43 bhp at 4,500 rpm, direct descendant of the famous Gold Star. Lead indium big end bearings for enduring high performance. High capacity oil feed is under pressure to main big end and camshaft bearings. It all goes through a full flow oil filter. Top performance with utter reliability, a unity of the latest materials and techniques with 50 years experience behind it. Look at the size of the air conditioning unit in a car of this type. It's a standard fitting, of course. The Herald's delightful handling owes a lot to the suspension. Inclined coil springs and telescopic shock absorbers combine with sturdy anti-roll bar to give a ride free from pitch and sway. Proved already by thousands of miles under all conditions. Smooth and stable, even under this stupendous hammering. Add the proven independent rear suspension and you get something special in motoring. It's simple, ingenious, wonderfully efficient, this rear suspension. And the Herald's the only car of its class to have it. The steering is to match. Rack and pinion, light, positive, responsive. And giving you a turning circle of 25 feet. This maneuverability makes city driving a pleasure instead of a penance. The brakes respond to the lightest touch. They're wide sectioned, larger at the front to counteract weight transfer and give you dead straight stopping. This view confirms the Herald's class. Beautifully styled, showing the cleverness of Michelotti's design that makes 93% of the eye level area transparent. Superb four wing visibility for safety and relaxed awareness under all conditions. The wide arc of the screen wiper sees to that 
and a touch will bring the twin washers into action. The boot lid lifts easily to offer 13 cubic feet of conveniently shaped space. The seven gallon petrol tank is neatly housed at the side and peace of mind is ensured by inclusion of a one gallon reserve, easily brought into action by a valve on top of the tank. Jack and tool stowage is neat and unobtrusive. The boot is left clear and spacious. Design has made all this possible. The spare wheel is housed in a well beneath the boot floor, wholly protected, yet not interfering with that flat surface and vital luggage space. Attention to detail. An anti-theft button operates the pivoting quarter lights. The windows wind. Wide doors and seating arrangements for comfortable access. And children in the rear can't reach those door handles. Rear seats are wide, deeply padded with foam rubber. Every aid to luxury motoring with quiet good taste. Yet a practical family car for all that. Talking of good taste, this is sheer distinction at the car's focal point. The fascia is walnut with instruments bang on where they're wanted. And there's a really big ashtray that really does its job. A glove box too, and it's lockable. The redesigned seats are deeper and thicker all round. There's a touch of genius in that tray, and that's the friendliest gear lever you've ever handled. See the new polished molded handbrake. It looks good and it feels good. Plenty of space and light. The headlining is washable and again, detailed excellence. Now a Herald Estate car. Counterbalance door automatically retained with courtesy light for good measure. Note the chrome steel running strips and the spare wheel housing. 20 cubic feet of space when four passengers are carried. The full Herald treatment of luxury and refinement. Same good access same passenger convenience. And luggage space? Fold the rear squab down and you get this. Ten suitcases there and the rear view is still quite clear. With two people up, you have 45 cubic feet for luggage, weighing, if you like, up to 500 weights. And all the refinements of the modern passenger car.